WBC International Championship in a voluntary defense from Harry Hyde. So we'll see this will be over 12 rounds and uh, as I said, welcome to you wherever you're joining us from and we're, welcome to everyone from Eastside Boxing that may be watching with us as well. And I'm joined tonight with uh, by Robert Waterman, who's one of the UK's uh, biggest promoters. So as the uh, ringmaster makes the introductions, Coming to the ring first is Ihikibina. Oh, uh, nothing in Ikamina's uh, record suggests that uh, he should give Herbie too much trouble. No, you're but you absolutely never know. right. Um, but this is what intrigues me because he's uh, he's come a long way, all the way from the United States of America, to take on uh, Herbie Hyde. And if he boxes anything as good as his, uh, his tunic, like his tunic, then um, maybe maybe Herbie's going to have his hands full tonight. Who knows? There's one thing for sure, Robert. When uh, Herbie gets in the ring, you, you cannot blink because uh, this guy is so full of determination. I mean, he's come back down now from the heavyweight department into the cruiserweight and you have to say he's had some success well not some success he's had complete success hasn't he that's exactly right and we've been fortunate enough to uh, to have Herbie on second zone for his last couple of fights And if you miss those, you can always uh, go online to Seconds Out and you'll better go into our library and uh, and have a look at those. So there he is, the Dancing Destroyer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please, fighters, we're going to listen to the national anthems of both fighters. Vamos a escuchar los signos nacionales en honor de ambos contendientes. First of all, to a nomen. Now I know that Herbie Hyde was a little bit upset when he heard that um, Samuel Peter had claimed to be the first Nigerian uh, heavyweight champion of the world, where in fact it was Mr. Hyde.
Well, there we are. That's the uh, national anthem for both of the boxers. And uh, and here we go. This is it. This is uh, the, one of the main events of this evening. The WBC Cruiserweight International Championship and defending champion, Herbie Hyde, who's now 36 years of age. And he's got a fantastic record on paper. Total of 46 fights, four losses, and 41 stoppages in those 42 wins. And all the way from the United States, travelling to Spain to challenge him for this title, Iheki Mina. I hope I'm pronouncing that one uh, correctly, Robert. And in the blue corner, and I think it was Alcantaran. Now, Hikimina is only 28 years of age, and uh, his record doesn't come anywhere close to that of Herbie Hyde, so I'm assuming he's got a great deal of confidence in making a trip this far to try and claim this belt, and I'm sure that uh, Herbie Hyde is going to make sure he doesn't walk away with it. Well, listen, don't blink because I've got to tell you when Herbie Hyde uh, hears that bell go, anything can happen. And the judges Francisco Vázquez Marcos from Spain, from Hungary, Bella Florian, and from Germany, Julian Lagos. Recordables, categoría peso pesado, Tokio Santos, Cruiserweight, category 12 rounds, a moment, a coming on, heavy hide! Okay, no punch. Okay, go it. Right. No problem. Professional, eh? Okay, please. Well, there's a two inch difference there in height between Herbie Hyde and uh, Hikimina. In fantastic condition, as always, Herbie Hyde for uh, a 36 year old. So, as I said, don't blink. Anything can happen when this bell goes. <coughs> Certainly Hyde can get uh, a little bit careless at times. When he does get his man on the go, he, uh, he tends to uh, put everything into it. Mina being uh, warned there from going a bit low with the head. Well, I thought he had a bit of a telling off there, but he got away with it. Uh, did uh, Mr. Hyde hitting on the break? Say the American looking quite relaxed at the moment. Doesn't seem to be too phased uh, to be facing Herbie Hyde. I'm looking at the difference in the uh, physical build of these two, and I have to say that uh, Herbie Hyde looks uh, the naturally bigger. Like quite a long way, broader shoulders, lining him up for the big right hand. Good left hand, and that hurt Hyde. And again, following through the big right. 
He's been caught with two big shots there in close succession, and they hurt. And he's holding on. And that shook Herbie Hyde up. And this guy's not there to mess around, that's for sure. And as I said, he looked to me to be uh, very, very laid back about his uh, approach to this. Very calm. Yeah, Herbie certainly looked very shaken up there. Oh, he was definitely shaken up. And, and you know, within, within a few seconds, he was caught by the overhand right as well. And as I said, this American must be confident. He's come a long way to, uh, to try and relieve Herbie Hyde of this title. Big shots coming in again from a Hikamina. The height's going to have to be careful here. Hikamina is not phased at all at facing uh, Herbie Hyde. And I think I have to give that round uh, to Hikamina. The telling shot certainly came from him. On paper, it, it looked like a bit of a mismatch, but it's proving to be somewhat different. Paul. Well, uh, I did say at the beginning of this, I said it, uh, I wondered uh, why Hikamina, with such a, a low record there of fights, was uh, travelling so far to jump in the ring with Herbie Hyde. And it, that, that's a question which is now being answered. And he certainly shook up Herbie Hyde there. And there was a left hook. And he, st he stumbled back there. And if you watch, the right hand follows. There it is. <laughs> well, here we go. Round two. Now, Herbie's going to have to uh, sharpen up a bit here. Because I've got to say, Hikamina is, uh, looks very comfortable to me out there at the moment. Eight years younger than height. Now, Herbie needs to tuck that chin in and start jabbing away. He really is hanging that chin out to dry at the moment. And the American is making sure that he stays uh, a good length away from any reach advantage that Hyde might have. And then when he sees the gaps, he's, he's leaping in and he's got very, very fast hand speed. Two shots from Herbie Hyde. Come back with the left hook next time. Left hook after. Not enough work on the jab from her behind, as far as I'm concerned. He needs to be working harder with that. An American keeping a very low left hand. I don't know whether he's trying to attempt uh, hide in there. Right hand over the top is the obvious shot for Hyde, but the American holding such a low left hand. But as he moves in, the American is on him. I think that was a better round for Herbie Hyde.
that was high ground, but he's not having it all his own way. But you he's just no, he's certainly not. But you'd suspect that it's only a matter of time. Uh, well, he, he, he looks the stronger, doesn't he? So I can imagine if he gets through the onslaught of this uh, Hikamina's uh, initial few rounds, and possibly Herbie will come through. But then again, his age will go against him. But he does have the experience. But as we thought, the American uh, hasn't come here to uh, lie down, that's for sure. He wants to take this title away. The other piece of good news, it seems that our technical problems are over with. Yep, certainly. Okay, here we go, round three. All even at the moment. Threes and fours, Herbie. Threes and fours. Threes and fours. Not single shots. Threes and fours. Combination, Herbie. Fast combination. The American is using good tactics here. He's, uh, he's keeping out of uh, reach from Herbie Hyde, and as soon as Hyde commits himself, he's counter punching with a bit more speed than Hyde. Really needs to keep those uh, hands up a bit more, Herbie Hyde. The American, what I have noticed, Robert, is taking his eyes off of uh, Hyde as he does throw these punches. He's putting his head down and he, he's throwing the punches blindly to some degree. Oh. Which you could get lucky, but. Uh, good shot again, good shot again from the American. Herbie brushing it off, but again he was hurt, I'm sure. We need to see uh, Herbie keep things under control here because he does tend to get a bit wild at times <laughs> and he gets wild for different reasons as well Stop. close round well I just to edit admit, I just edit to uh, Herbie but it was interesting um, Danny Flexen writing for Boxing News uh, seemed to indicate in his view that this match was a bit of a mismatch uh, in favour of Hyde. I think before watching it, I would have agreed, but I'm not quite so sure now, Paul. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, when you look at the statistics on paper, it's, it's easy to say that, isn't it? But, um, you know, we've got a young American here. He, he's uh, eight years younger than Hyde. He's travelled a long way. You have to question, well, has, has he come for the payday? These Americans don't normally travel. Not at that age. The older boxers, yes, they'll come over, they'll travel. Travel to earn their uh, to earn their day's pay, but the younger boxers, I think they've got something to prove. Well, yes, but if you look at his record, um, two losses in his last three fights. Maybe this is saying something about Herbie. I don't know. 
Well, as I said, Herbie, Herbie does tend to uh, lose control at times, that's for sure. And, and as I said, for, for different reasons. He, he, he gets a bit wild sometimes, and that can be when he's winning, when he th thinks he's got the advantage. He, he loses his control because he wants to finish the job. And at the same time, when he's losing, he loses control. He needs to find somewhere in the middle. And when he does have to step it up, you want to see it in a controlled manner. But however, that's Herbie Hyde, and how can I argue with his record? You know, 42, 42 wins, and of which he's, he's, he stopped 41. I mean, he looks physically that much, so much stronger than uh, Hikamina, but... Uh, I do believe that Hikamina has the punch there, that's for sure. I mean, he's, uh, he's hurt uh, Herbie Hyde on a couple of occasions here. As I said earlier, as uh, the fight goes on, maybe the uh, experience of Herbie Hyde will tell, but now I'm, I'm questioning whether, or well, maybe the youth will tell. Second time he's got away with it, as far as I'm concerned. I think the referee needs to be a little bit uh, more attentive to that. I'd like to see Herbie put up a sustained attack here because it'd be interesting to see how Hikamina would deal with that. Because, oh, good right hand, and that has hurt. That was a very square, very square flush shot to the uh, to the side of the head of the American, and he felt that. Now we'll see whether Herbie puts in a sustained assault that I was talking about. Not enough time. Not left. enough time. Out of time. Stop! 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 Oh, Herbie! 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 You, he, he's really going to get that under control. The referee is going to get that under control. He's hitting up to the bell. He's hitting on the break. Well, I think that fight, that round's the turning point, though, Well, Paul. I, do, do you know what, Robert? I, under normal circumstances, I'd agree with you, but I'm not convinced that this American is out of it by a long shot yet. I'm really not. The fact being, of course, Herbie Hyde will probably come out now with review, you know, renewed vigour for this next round, and whether he can sustain an assault and whether the American can deal with it, well, I'm sure that's what we're about to witness. That was a big right hand. That was a big, big right hand. Okay. Well, let's see whether Herbie goes for it now. That's his, uh, that's his normal method after hurting someone. I think I heard his corner saying control, control. Well, I've been saying that myself. I don't think he's listening to me. I'm not sure we can hear you, Paul. Well, entertaining as always. Well, the American is obviously uh, getting on his uh, bike at the moment, looking to... Uh, Maybe have a little bit of a breather, get his head back in focus after that last round. That was a big right hand. A lot of people wouldn't have got up from that. Oh, 
Wait! Eight, eight. Get behind the jab, Irving. Get behind the jab again. Good tactics by the American. It's uh, certainly stopped her behind from launching his, his big assault that he would normally do after hurting someone in the manner in which he did. That's better. Good, 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 good. Now he's on the move, the American. Uh, Herbie is certainly finding it hard to pin his man down. A lot of energy, though, going into this from the American. It'll be frustrating, uh, Herbie Hyde, with this, these tactics. And that's what tends to draw Herbie in and, and, and create the wildness within him. Well, I think this was a keeping out of trouble round for uh, Ihikamina, which he certainly succeeded in doing. But uh, not a lot of point scoring there from either man. Still high drowned. Yeah, on my card anyway. But if you're just joining us, welcome. This is Seconds Out, and you're live with us uh, in Bow in Spain. And at the moment, we're just coming up to the halfway mark, more or less, of the uh, WBC International Cruiserweight Championship with defending champion Herbie Hyde against Hikamina from New York. And at the moment, Hyde seems to be uh, pulling ahead. He's had a knockdown in the fourth round. Sixth round. Okay. But the American making a good account of himself here, that's for sure. Nothing like the experience on paper as far as uh, Hyde has. He's danced that last round to keep out of trouble. Let me see if he goes back to work at this stage. And now as soon as he stopped dancing, Hyde's going to close him up. I think he's struggling here, the American, with the, the strength of Hyde, Robert. Good right hand again from Hyde. I think he's looking to uh, finish this now. To throw the uppercut. Wait. 
Come on, get out. Come on, be Falcon, Falcon, Falcon. He really is taking his eyes off of Herbie Hyde too often now in, in these particular poses. I think he was looking at his corner. I think he wants out of there, to be honest. I'm surprised he survived that round. I, th I thought at one point Hyde had him on the go. And it's uh, unlike Herbie to let someone off the hook when that happens. He's looking a little bit despondent in his corner, that's for sure. And this is the time where the his corner men have really got to G him up. Well, his corner said the only people that could stop him was God. He's falling through with the elbow there, Mr. Hyde. Always one of his favourite shots. <laughs> shaking his head like that the fact is these punches are if uh, even if they're not hurting him they're scoring no and it, it, he's lucky actually because uh, turning your back like he is you can actually get disqualified I'm sure he's going to be finding that target at some point soon. told by the uh, referee now to keep his eyes uh, on his opponent. Well, I can understand that sort of behaviour if you're uh, Floyd hey. Mayweather or but and, not if and you're, you're in front and but he's not. No and his name is Ekamina. <laughs> I think actually he doesn't know what to do is the problem. He's finding that heavy height is too powerful for him, for him, that's for sure, and I think that's what he's struggling with. Don't let him recover, Abby. And he's continuously uh, switching stance here from Southport to Orthodox. If he feels that in some way, he's going to confuse Hyde.
Well, he's only one round, one, one round so far, has uh, Ikamina, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, on the basis that Hyde scored a 10-8 in round four, Ikamina needs a knockout to win. No way. No, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Round eight. A lot of work now to do for Hikamina. I mean, listen, he did show in the first round that he, he, that he could hurt Hyde, but I don't think he's going to. I don't think he's got the strength left anymore for that, but who knows? And I'm sure that Herbie would like to uh, finish the uh, night early. Jab, Herbie, jab, don't put your jab away. Good, good, keep the jab. Keep your hand the jab, throw that, throw, keep it from Herbie. And again. That's it, the right side of the jab, keep it going. That's it. Good right hand there from Eric Mina, no effect on this occasion. Got him, Herbie! Sustained attack at this point from Herbie. Kamin is complaining he's being hit on the back of the head, but it's not surprising the way he keeps turning to the side. Or putting his head right down. Exactly. Right? Fully agree. Jab, Herbie, jab. You've got missing with the jab. You just feel that with a sustained attack from her behind, he could uh, he could put this to bed. But he's certainly got it all to do now, Hikamina. Good, 
Well, unless uh, Herbie gets particularly uh, careless at this point, Robert, I think he's uh, just going to cruise his way through. You see this going the distance now, Robert? Well, you never know with Herbie. I mean, he's got the power to hurt and stop this Ekamina. Looks like he's sort of relaxing. Maybe that's what he's settling for, but not like Herbie to do well, that. Well, it's not like Herbie, is it? With a record like this, <laughs> he's, he's stopped 41 of his, one of his 42 wins. This American has done a bit of homework, though. I think he's done well to uh, buy his trade in the manner in which he's done tonight. I mean, he's, he's just bizarre. He, I mean, he, he could lose points for this behaviour, though, the American. I mean, he's turning... Yes, he's the referee's warning him about turning his back. isn't he? I mean, that, that's the fact of the matter. He's awkward and he's, uh, he's playing the game quite well, actually. Um, he, he's keeping out of reach of uh, Herbie and he's going very low, trying to come in underneath Herbie Hyde and come up. Although I think he's actually now basically just trying to survive to the end of this. Well, that's what it looks like to me. And it, that's what it looks like his corner's telling him to do. I mean, they said only God could stop him. And so far in his uh, 12 fights... 14 fights rather he hasn't been stopped although he's got two losses but then he hasn't seemed to have fought anyone with uh, Herbie's uh, record he's getting limited success there but uh, I said other than the fact he's taking his eyes off Herbie Hyde when he's uh, standing at arm's length from him, he, he seems to even do so when he's, when, you know, when, when they're together in a clinch, he's, he's looking away and throwing punches without, without any real direction, sometimes he gets lucky It's like a head down and ball your way in Hit. 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 Right hand. Swing, keep it long. Good job, just work the job. Work the job. 
Well, the pace has obviously come down at this point. thing I would say to you Robert is when you hear the corner shouting these instructions what punches to throw what moves to make uh, you know we can hear them as clear as anything I assume that Herbie can hear them but his opponent can hear them as well it's a bit like telegraphing isn't it the uh... well that's if he's following the corners instructions As soon as uh, they say throw the uppercut, Herbie, then obviously the, the, the guy's going to be looking for that, isn't he? Unless it's some sort of a coded message and he throws uh, a left hook instead. You think, you think it's as clever as that? <laughs> for the first round it pretty much be a lockout so far keep away from his right hand or keep your hands up yeah yes your career yeah you've got to keep that away from the right hand he's looking for the over and right yeah You gotta back him up well, he's certainly done remarkably well over the years, Herbie Hyde, now at 36. Still in fantastic shape, that's for sure. Well, as you uh, as you rightly said, uh, Robert, he needs a knockout. Does uh, Hikamina? He's needed that for some time. The pace has certainly slowed down here, Paul. <laughs> Uh, Hikamina is going to make some uh, big effort and go for this.
not many fights where uh, Herbie Hyde's involved and there's not fireworks, that's for sure. Was Herbie hurt there or he was playing for? No, I think he was messing about. Interesting to see whether he's uh, he's got it in him to go out there and give a a big performance for the last round, throw everything into it. Unless he's uh, happy to accept defeat in this manner, then he's going to have no choice but to do so. Good to see that Herbie still got 12 uh, 12 hard rounds in him. So here we go, 12th and the last round, three minutes. Let's see if Hikamina makes some sort of an effort here. And likewise, whether Herbert decides that uh, his time is up and he's going to um, put a stop to this. Big effort coming in from uh, Hikamina. Nor from Herbie at this point. Well, he doesn't have to, does he? He's uh, he's cruising this through. He's he's had a good workout here, that's for sure. Maybe something he'll be pleased with. Uh, Robert, the American, raises his hands at the end of this round. Has he not won it? seconds.
when I score that 118, 109 to high. Well, you must have been looking at my notes then, Robert, because that's what I've got. Maybe that's because it wasn't the hardest fight to score. Well, he's posing up there like he's... Uh, That's Herbie saying he caught me a couple of times, didn't he? Well, I'm sure you should know the answer to that, Herbie. Should get the official results in uh, just a few seconds, I'm sure. But listen, don't go away if you're with us. We've got up next some heavyweight action for you. We've got uh, Danny Williams up against Konstantin Erich. Erich is the uh, interim heavyweight German champion, and uh, he's had so far 10 fights of which he's won nine, drawn one, and he's had eight stoppages. He's certainly a big puncher. He's got a punch there. He's uh, built very, very strongly, and we've had him out uh, a couple of times on seconds out. But uh, I'm wondering whether it's, uh, as I said earlier, a bridge too far, a step too far for Eric. Danny Williams, a great deal of experience and been in with the, the big names, that's for sure, in the heavyweight division. From the judges... So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how Eric can do against Danny Williams tonight. But I, I really do think that he's uh, he's going to have his hands full tonight. Well, it's an unanimous decision there for uh, her behind. Certainly, a couple of the score lines there uh, were in line with uh, my own and Roberts. 